when Jodie was born, we, we had a hotel. She used to think she was the star cabaret in the bar. She's always been an entertainer. You know, she really has. Have I kept you entertained for 30 you years? You certainly <laughs> have, Jodie, you certainly have. <laughs> I did, for many, many years, try to get her to the West End and they, they never let me in. But I think that's because I was about 20 stone. Jodie's become a star of stage and screen against all the odds, when you consider that her first television appearance was as a contestant on the reality weight loss show, The Biggest Loser. You don't feel like you're living your life to the to the ultimate, and I really don't. It's just horrible. It really is horrible. I was almost kind of ashamed, but if you really want something, you've really got to put yourself out there, you know, and you've got to take the good with the bad, and that's what I did. Having won the competition... Jodie, you are the UK's biggest loser, and... Jodie found the courage to audition to be Nancy. You could still be Nancy. Congratulations! This spirit and the public's support... You could still be Nancy! ...took Jodie all the way to the final. You could still be Nancy. Well done. Congratulations! It was the toughest night in the entire world. Jodie! The leading role. Oh, hi, I'm Jodie Prenger, and I'm going to help Andrew Lloyd Webber find Toto for a special gala performance in The Wizard of Oz. Now, I'm here today to meet a very important ultra showbiz agent. I mean, he's a mentor, he's a guru, he's a dog. Come on, let's go meet him. Jodie, darling, please do sit down. Perhaps my assistant can get you a bowl of water. Oh, no, thank Barclay. It's absolutely a pleasure to meet you. Uh, darling, the pleasure is all mine. Now, what can I do for you? I'm a very busy dog. Bills to pay. Uh, Cats to chase. Well, um, it's lovely to meet you, Barclay Wolfington. And I know you are the top dog in uh, Doggy Celebrity Agency. And I'm here to, um, to look for Toto and seek some of your advice. We've had some very famous paws come through these doors. Lassie signed her first contract here. Lady and the Tramp announced their divorce and Wellard auditioned for the role of Shakespeare's greatest Dane. He didn't get it. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, but Eddie, have you got, have you got anything else in the pipeline that you want to talk about? I'm not going to lie to you, Jodie. It's busy, busy, busy. I'm going to sleep now. Licks and kisses. Mwah, mwah. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, there you have it. Your dog doesn't have to have an agent like Barclay. If your pooch has potential to be Toto, then send him along to the auditions. For more information, log on to bbc.co.uk slash Dorothy. Are you still here? Get out! everyone and welcome to the National Lottery Draws. Now before we get cracking with the first live draw of the night, I just wanted to know that there's still time to nominate your favourite lottery funded project for a National Lottery Award. The deadline for nominations is 5pm on the 19th of February and all you need to do is visit BBC Online and follow the link. Remember, proceeds raised by Playing Dream Number are helping to fund many of the venues being used for the London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic Games. Tonight, my special guest is Paul Cotter, organiser of the syndicate of 23 Heathrow Airport check-in workers who scooped a £2.6 million. Pound. Hiya, Paul. <laughs> Welcome to Lottery HQ and a Thank big you, congratulations. Thank you very much. Now, come on, tell us, how did you find out your syndicate jackpot winners? I checked on the um, Lotto website. Yeah. I do it on Sunday mornings. Mm -hmm. well, it's Christmas coming up. Are you going to splash out in style? I'm buying a house. Oh, are you? Yeah. And you can buy some lovely, expensive Christmas baubles to go with it now. <laughs> hey, don't you go anywhere. Thanks for joining us because you are going to help start tonight's big lotter draws and let's hope some of your good luck can rub off at the people at home. So grab your tickets as it's time for the big one. Get ready for lotter. We're going to be going to the promised land. <laughs> that was <laughs> The feeling when she walked in, I felt shock at first 
And then when I realised it that she would be singing with me, I thought it was amazing. It really is. Oh, oh God, I'm so happy, oh. Jim. <laughs> She's a West End star now, and it was just for me to sing with her. We all rung, rung each other and said, have you voted for Jodie this week? <laughs> because do you know what? Out of every show, you were definitely Nancy. Pauline, bless her cotton socks, voted for me. I love her to bits. And it's so lovely to be a part of making her dreams come true. She's got, she's got her heart cracking set along. She'll be grand. I mean, I've never sung like this before anyway. I've done, I've sung on the karaoke. So I, all I can say is I'll do my best and hopefully it'll work. Hi. That's the most fantastic thing I've ever done. Uh, Jodie's brilliant. You are. Just, uh... Jodie, that was a tough song. Mm -hmm. How did Pauline do? Do you know, stepping into a shoes like Judy Garland, who's amazing, Pauline, you literally shone like a superstar you are. And it's every credit to it. She's just... <laughs> When you shine like that, welcome. Get ready.